on, guys. Can you it over here? Drop it right there. I know it's heavy, I know. Alright, you guys ready for this? Did you guys see it? Oh, I hope you guys didn't see it yet. Alright. Oh. Look at those headers, guys. Look at that. You got the nice flex pipe right there. You got, of course, your hangers. You got to make sure you always have those. The welding on it looks pretty... Looks pretty good. I mean... Minus they could have done the hanger a little bit more better, but but uh the welds look pretty pretty intact there. They missed a little spot right here. So hopefully we don't experience any links. That would suck. For the unboxing of the walker headers. If you guys want to see this being installed, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to smash that bell on the side so you get notified of when I do post videos. Alright guys, so here up in the engine right here, you have your heat shield which needs to be removed first. I already did the pleasures of taking the bolts out, which is, I'm also going to tell you what size you need to take those bolts out. And then there's also two down here, and then you got your aux port right here, um, which is connected to right here. If you don't want to unscrew that just to get the heat shield off, you just disconnect it, and you can lead it right through the heat shield. And then, if we come over here... These little guys is what holds the heat shield on. Make sure you don't drop one. I have a lot of experience with that. I used a deep socket, and I believe that this one is a 10. So it's a 10 deep socket, and then that will get those out right there. So it's pretty much the same as your negative battery right there. But when you do mess with any wiring, any at all, like even this small, this big, especially it's a sensor, make sure you disconnect your battery so that way you don't throw any sparks or anything. Alright guys, so now that your battery has been disconnected from the negative, I tried to do it from here before and it sparked. So, I'm not going to touch that. So, I'll just do it this way, the old fashioned way, and take it off. Now, as you guys see, the heat shield is still off. It's just those four requirement screws, which is there there and then two down below and now we have the sensor we have to remove but I'm probably gonna unplug it from here and then put the heat shield through it and then you have to get that black one right there out as well and then it's just all about taking all of these screws those ones right there out and then you can go ahead and put the new headers in after you get those ones out. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do. It's really easy. I'll let you guys know what kind of tools you guys need. Um, probably will be posted in the beginning of this video before the making of me taking out the headers and putting in the new ones. Hopefully this doesn't throw any codes. I'm praying to God that it doesn't because that would be really cool. And I'll really enjoy not throwing any codes at me. So... We're going to go ahead and put this to a test. Alright guys, so once you have the battery disconnected and you have those bolts off of the heat shield, which makes it a lot more easier, trust me. You're going to come over here and you're going to grab your little jack right here. Of course, these two guys. I like to take off my tire and shove it underneath there, but I don't think I'm going to have the room. It would be easier to work on too as well. But um, we're going to go ahead and jack this car up. And you just find this jack point, which is right there. And then we're going to look here. Get underneath the car. And it shows you an arrow right there. Pretty much anywhere where there, where there is an arrow, those are jacking points. So we're going to get that thing up there. Get it all the way up. And bam. It starts to lift up the car a little bit, of course. That doesn't look like it's on there all the way, but... Go ahead and jack her up. Wait. Okay. And then you're going to put one of these on each side. 
Once that is done, we will be right back. Are lifted on the jack. On the stands anyways, don't just lift it up by the jack. Your car is not eligible to hold it by this thing. So we have both jacks there. I have the jack itself underneath there too for some support on that side. Um, if you guys can though for safety, and this is my thing I'm going to tell you right now. Take off your rim, shove that bad boy underneath there so if that does collapse, that rim will catch it before it falls on you and kills you. So that's important. Me, I'm not too afraid of it, but I am afraid of damaging blue, so. <clears throat> but anyways, on the upper half note, we have this <clears throat> sensor right here. Um, that was a pain in my butt to get out, but we got it. You just want to disconnect it from the plate right here. And then this cord right here, there is a tab right where the, my finger is at. That tab right there, you want to push it down and pull out, just like any other tab that you have. Keep them separated because there's another one that goes to the black sensor down there. And you want to make sure you don't mix those up because when you plug them in and you get in air, well, that's in your fault because you're in following directions. Um, as far as that goes, that's pretty much all you have to do. We're going to probably drop this, this uh, out. We're going to drop it out now, and then I'm going to go ahead and take off the sensors. It'll be better for me to do it when it's out of the car and off the car, instead of trying to pull it and tug it and possibly break it. So this way I can see where the threads are and how they actually are threaded on there. Because sometimes um, on engines, this can be reversed. It can be left loose and right tight, or right loose and left tight. You never know, so... Just make sure you do it cautiously because those sensors right there are about 75 bucks. Just this one. That one down there is about 200 bucks. So make sure you don't ruin them because, like I said, man, hit on your guys is bad. Um, so let's go ahead and get this done. I'm going to update you guys when I do start pulling the bolts out. And I'm going to show you guys where I pulled the bolts out and how many bolts there was what size I used, all of that will be in the beginning of this video. So make sure you pay attention to what socket sizes you guys need. If you guys don't remember, go ahead and go back into the beginning of the video and watch what size you guys need. But as for right now, we're gonna go ahead and start taking the floor pan, or the floor pan, what the hell am I talking about? <sighs> the skid pan right here, we're gonna go ahead and take that out and then I'll be able to get underneath there and get a bit of an idea of what and how and when am I going to take all these bolts right here out. There is, I believe, six bolts that you have to take out, but I'll let you guys know when I do pull them out. So, we'll see you guys in about five minutes. So, we're underneath the car right now. Um, as you guys can tell, I took out these two bolts right here that are connected to the cat. And then there's one more which is right there, and you guys can probably see it where it is. Yeah, it's that hole right there. You gotta make sure you take that out. That's what's holding that cat in. And then back here, um, video is backwards, but it's okay. Um, those back there have to be taken out too as well. And then, um, everything else is pretty much done. There's the bolts right there. My, uh, Flash is acting retarded right now, but um, other than that, that is done. Now we have to move on the top of the car and get the ones out from the headers. Once we do that, we can jump back and then get those two back there and put the new pipe in. If we can figure out how to take this one out, because this one, this bad boy is big. So hopefully we can get it out. All right, what is up, gang? How you guys doing? A little brief of an update on my situation going down underneath the cabin. And I mean definitely underneath there with that muffler system. Now I've been wanting to do this video out for you guys for quite some time now. And I've been running into a lot of serious stuff. I was going to say the S word but you caught me. But anyways, <clears throat> sorry if the car is a little bit loud and it is rather a little bit droney in here. but. Back to what 
this video is all about here, guys. Um, the bolt that I've been trying to get off, which connects to my Kellett converter, and it goes up into the headers. Uh, that bolt seems to be stripped. Like, very bad, too. I'm not lying. That thing is stripped to its guts. But, I have a solution, and it's gonna take a while. So this is the reason why I'm releasing this video today on Tuesday instead of instead of yesterday on Monday, which, you know, it kind of sucks that I like to keep my schedule straight with you guys because I know a lot of you guys want to see my videos and you know that I usually post them on Mondays. I had a thing going on where I was posting Mondays and Fridays, but since I am, or was, I'm already moved in, moving, I ran into a little complication with that, so I couldn't, I wasn't able to upload videos on Friday as well. So, into that regards, I definitely want to get back into doing that, guys. Especially for you guys out there that are really interested in the 2018s or the 2019s. Uh, I'm more of a muscle guy, so most of my updates on cars and stuff like that will definitely be on muscle cars. So Mustangs, Dodge, even though I call them a dumpster, but the Camaros as well. I like to keep updated with all of those to show you guys what is new and what's coming out. Just in case if you guys are looking for a car that you guys just really want so damn bad, but you don't know anything about it. So that's why I'm here briefing it to you guys on YouTube. But anyways, so the whole muffler situation take me a minute or two to um, figure out when I'm gonna order it um, it's actually called a go-to a strip bolt these guys right here will all get the bolt done so you really don't have to wait to get something online AutoZone sells it they also have this set right here, depending on your size. They have long bolt sockets right there. They even have ones that can pull out um, nails and stuff like that. Uh, these, I don't know if they're gonna work, but we're gonna try it on the muffler, try to see which one we can use. Between these four, we're gonna decide right now what we wanna use, and we'll come back to you guys when we do. All right, guys, so we have decided on the sockets that we're gonna use right here. And I think these ones should work. I mean, we have some good means to them. If you guys can actually look at them, they're actually shaped very nicely. Um, from what my brother was reading is that they tighten as you torque it. So uh, hopefully this will work. And I also picked up the most famous breaker bar right here because I think that thing is really stock. So a breaker bar will definitely help us out with gripping and it will definitely probably most likely take it off i'm hoping anyways i'm hoping that's the the result of using a breaker bar but motorcycle but we are about to go home i got the more some more bolts right there and hopefully those bolts will fit because if not well we're fucked beep that out or whatever the hell you do but uh anyways so yeah we're gonna go home we're gonna find something to eat probably try it i don't know we'll let you guys know and then we got the, the food truck right here bombest tacos ever right here in front of autozone but anyways guys we'll see you there it's called a go-to socket and i've been seeing it recently quite a lot this lady is really riding my butt but um i've been seeing it quite some time now and i've been seeing people use it and how they actually use it how does it work for me um, I just want to make sure that I can use something like that you know for my particular thing uh, with muffler bolts you know you got to keep in mind that it is in a very very tight spot uh, where I need to get that bolt off of so if I can get it off then sweet but if not then you guys already know if I can't get it off. But I have that option, and I also have option number two, 
which is taken to my buddy Steve and he works at Cypress Mufflers if you guys need to put any kind of muffler onto your car. He is very good at it doing his job. He is 100% excellent with welding. So if you guys do need a little bit of welding things to get welded, I guess. Anyways, so if you guys want to get that stuff done, you guys can go ahead and look it up. It's called Cypress Mufflers. It's right here in California if you guys are local. I know a lot of you guys are because I get a lot of subscribers, especially when I'm driving around and people see my sticker on the back of my window. So I just want to keep you guys updated on this situation. And I really do want to get it working because I think it's going to sound amazing. It's going to change the tone of my muffler definitely by 99% so I can't wait for that um, I was really hoping to get it on guys I'm really really hoping to get it on and show you guys the different sounds and everything and play everything for you guys but you know things happen so I just gotta do what I gotta do and I don't even know why that bolt stripped in the begin in the beginning because this is still a brand new car guys Brand new lug nuts, washers, anything that's on this car is brand spanking new. So I don't know why that thing stripped like that. And I was turning in the right way if you're saying that I didn't turn it in the right way. I did. Trust me. I checked. And then I also ran into another situation where I got to figure out where I'm going to get another bolt. Because that bolt down there is screwed up. 100%. I, I apologize for the skipping camera too as well. I've noticed that I've had face recognition on. So basically it follows my face everywhere it goes. And me wearing glasses, it messes with it. So, but anyways, the next video that comes out will be 100% better for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you smack that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell on the side so you get notified when good content like this comes out. Don't forget to hit that double thumb up on this video once again. Leave a comment down in the section down below. Share it with your friends. And I am Tough Builds, guys. If it ain't tough, it's not worth building. I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys. So this is about to be the final and once grand finale of this video. I know I've said it probably about maybe three times now. But, you know, this is the, the portion of part one. Stay tuned for part two because part two will be the part where I'm actually going to be putting them inside the car. I finally got the bolt off using that tool that you guys just seen. That tool is 100% amazing. If you guys have rounded bolts or bolts in general that are rusted or whatever, that is definitely the, the nut socket thing that you want to get because it does lock on there. Very, very good too. I'm not lying about that. But if you guys do want to continue watching this, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell on the side once again so you guys always get notified when I do post videos like this. If you guys want to continue seeing videos with me modifying blue, on the other hand, if you guys have any ideas that you guys want me to try out, go ahead and post those down and link down in the section down below. Also, tuning will be coming soon. I found a tuner that will tune my car. I just have to make sure it's ready to be tuned. I don't want to just jump into tuning it right off the bat. I want to make sure I have everything so when the tune does come and I decide to change something up, I have to send that thing right back. I have to send the computer back to the place. It has to get retuned and I have to wait 48 hours just to get the damn thing back. So I'm doing it this way. But anyways guys, hope you guys liked this video. Make sure you stay tuned for the next one coming out next week. I love you all, and thank you for supporting Tough Builds. Remember, if it ain't tough, it's not worth building once again. I'll see you guys next Monday. Um.